Hello guys and welcome back to Borderlands 2 Community Patch Character Changes over the patch 3.0 and 3.1. Today we are going over Krieg. As always, if you want to download the patch for yourself or follow the creator Craig for updates on the patch, links will be in the description down below. And if you want to see the other characters, all those videos are in the playlist. So let's get right into it. So we'll put a skill into Buzzax Rampage and then work our way down the Bloodlust tree where there was actually only one skill change and it really wasn't even a skill change, they added a completely new skill, Blood Euphoria. When your kill skills are deactivated, you gain health for each stack of Bloodlust at plus 0.6% per stack. So this was actually an unused skill that was already in the files and it's you know a game changer because you only put one point into it and it's one of those center skills. And they just decided not to put it in the game, all said and done. Once they figured it out, they just decided not to, which is really weird. But from what I've heard, I'm not a huge Krieg player, but I heard it's pretty good and worth picking up at least. Because the health and the way health gating works, I mean, I guess. But that's only uh, skill change in Bloodlust. Now we move over to Mania, where pull the pin. Upon death, you drop a free grenade. Enemies killed with this grenade reward double XP. Also gives you 10% grenade damage. So the 10% grenade damage is new. I still don't know if that gives it enough to make it worth picking up. Usually the grenade is still pretty lackluster unless you have a lot of grenade damage built up. But hey, if you're doing that whole grenade build, might as well. Next skill is Light the Fuse. Fight for your life is replaced with Light the Fuse. During Light the Fuse, you pull out a live bundle of dynamite and can move normally. The bundle detonates when the timer runs out. If you kill someone, you are revived. Getting a revive with this bundle explosives gives you bonus movement speed for the remainder of the time that was left in Light the Fuse. You can throw the dynamite stick and detonate all at once. So you might be wondering what the change is. So back in patch 2.0, they gave this dynamite an extra 100% damage, but just in UVHM or Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, which is the last playthrough of the game if you don't know. And in patch 3.0, they changed it. So now... NVHM or Normal Vault Hunter Mode and TVHM True Vault Hunter Mode also get the plus 100% buff because the skill is just really not that strong and the 100% buff, especially in low levels, actually makes it worth picking up and you can revive yourself, especially if you're a solo player and need it. So that's cool. Um, last skill to change is Silence of Voices in the Mania skill tree. Melee damage significantly increased. Uh, chance when performing a melee attack that you attack yourself. So with this skill, when... The whole problem with it is just that all the melee damage used to count as grenade damage when you would pick this up. So self-hit damage is no longer considered grenade damage. That was a change in patch 3.0. And when you hit enemies, it is also no longer considered grenade damage. So it stacks properly again with melee damage, which makes it really nice. And also just so the skill is working as intended. I don't get why we had to go in with a community patch to fix this, but... They did, and it worked out, and it's a really cool change. So silence the voice of players, because that's like bread and butter if you want to be a melee Kree. So next thing that changed was actually between uh, two skills that were the overlap. One was Salt the Wound. Taking damage from an enemy while your shield is down adds a stack of Salt the Wound. It increases melee and shotgun damage for each stack occurred. Stacks begin to decay after a short time without taking health damage from enemies. So it gives you melee shotgun damage per stack. So this was not stacking right with elemental elation. While elemental status effect damage is being done to enemies, you gain a stack of elemental elation. Fire rate and magazine size increase for each stack of elemental elation. Stacks will not decay while you're on fire. So for some reason these weren't stacking right. So um, they just went in there and made it so the stacks no longer overlap. And they work right, and Elemental Elation is kind of really important if you want to do any type of Hellborn build or anything. But overall, Krieg really didn't need too many changes. He's always been a really strong character, even if you want to do Melee or Hellborn. All of his skill trees, for the most part, are really good. And Bloodlust is such a good mix between the two that can boost either gun damage or melee damage. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for all things Borderlands. And see you guys in the next one.